Great Welcome to, to the queue. Uh, welcome to the queue. Yeah, thanks. All right. thanks. Now we get you're here. excited. Another I day. am excited. Yeah, this is. is a good day. Another executive <laughs> in the queue. We're very excited to have you. Thanks for uh, coming. And this is an extended event coverage exclusive with uh, Hewlett Packard Labs, Building One, the founder's office behind us. Better spot for innovation than what you guys were showing today. Uh, it was not streamed. I hear the videos will be on demand later. But. Uh, Take us through what you had. You were very excited. I was snapping some photos of you. Got some good cameos. Uh, you we got showed a huge audience here. Nineteen hundred people watching, John. Nineteen hundred people. So, so, so oh. you, <laughs> this guy is is the general manager of the hyperscale ProLiant, the servers, changing the game. So, what did you announce today? Just share with the folks directly from you. What's the big deal? Why is this such a massive event to, uh, uh, for you guys? Sure. So uh, the announcement today, uh, Project Redstone, it's a multi-year, multi-stage journey for us to really um, take advantage and realize the potential of low energy servers. And what we announced today was three major pillars. Pillar number one was the availability of the Redstone um, server pl platform, which we actually unveiled, which was cool. Get to see the hardware. I love that. Uh, so we were able to actually show everyone what it looks like. Uh, secondly was really um, what we're calling our our, um, HP Discovery Lab because customers need to be able to see this, they need to be able to touch it, they need to drop their applications on it, and they need to be able to make sure that their applications scale and they can tune them and they can benchmark them and make sure that they work. And then the th third thing that we um, announced today was a partnership program called HP Pathfinder to really provide the capabilities for all of the software providers, hardware providers, ISVs to come together to be able to really help drive this ecosystem forward. And Redstone available Q1 2012, is that right? Yeah, Q1 2012, And then the Discovery Lab in Open Houston? In January of January. 2012. And then others in APAC and Europe in, Throughout 2012, in 2012. Correct. And then today you've announced five, five, I believe, Pathfinder partners, right? Correct. Canonical, Red Hat, Calzada, ARM, and AMD. Correct. Okay. And those were the core that we needed to get started. We expect to see that grow um, as with the Blade program where we have 300 solutions builders now, we expect the uh, the partner um, program to really grow dramatically as as soon as we've announced. So you expect it to be that large? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So Richard was telling us from, from Forrest that you have a really impressive team that you guys pulled together with an HP, kind of like the brain trust on hyperscale. Talk about what's changed in the industry standard server business, which grew out of the, the PC chipset now and scaled up and all that great stuff that's happened, to what's going on in the marketplace. And, and you're managing the entire organization roadmap a um, big solution set you put together, the fabric, et cetera, that you guys announced, uh, which we'll have more details online in our blog posts. But people look at the marketplace. They see the utility changing. They have smartphones. They have cloud. They're seeing Apple. They're seeing Google go crazy. And they're seeing Facebook with, you know, this new environments. And people in the enterprises are looking at that saying, hey, you know, I need to have a web front. I need to do all this stuff internally. What's changing in this transformation and in this inflection point, as you mentioned in, in your presentation? Can you just package that up real high level? Yeah. So um, I, I think fundamentally we're seeing a huge growth in terms of applications that everyone uses on their desktops and notebooks and everything else. Um, this is search applications, social media, um, web, um, everything. I mean, it's tremendous. Everyone is using these applications, and they're all back-end server-based. It's not a, you know, there's a front-end app you're using, but everything is back-end server-based. And the applications that are being downloaded to cell phones, I mean, everyone has their new cell phones. You know, I don't know how many. I went to the Apple Store. It was amazing. I had to wait in line for two and a half hours to get into the Apple Store to buy a 4S. It was just, and that was like two weeks after, you know, the announcement. So these applications that are being downloaded to um, these new type of mobile devices, uh, they're all server-based because all the intelligence, all the sharing, all the collaboration happens in the back-end server-based. So the customers that have to provide the websites to do social collaboration, to do all that, they have, um, uh, you know, they have growth rates that are just you know, exponential. And just one, one of these large customers buying one server, server, one solution, we can customize it and tune it for them because that may be as large as one of our standard servers in terms of um, overall volume for a year. So these customers just have huge problems. And so as a result, it's giving us an opportunity to really re-architect and create solutions addressing this marketplace because it's a growth engine. It's huge. How bad is the power problem? I mean, you can scale 1 to 10, 10 being you know, catastrophic. 
it, it, it's bad and it's, it's 12 <laughs> yeah it's 12 <laughs> and it's I not mean, it's pretty bad i mean people it's don't power understand. it's cooling if you look at a lot of these uh, large um, sites now are starting to go over to the arctic countries where it's yeah. cold facebook that, yeah yeah right uh, those announcements why that's because they can at least address the cooling part right mm-hmm. because you know part of a data center is not only powering it but cooling it mm-hmm. so they can address that helps the cooling but it doesn't help the power that's fundamentally what we've announced today is a roadmap and a vision for how we're going to use low energy servers in a federated architecture to be able to provide the next generation of huge dramatic decrease in overall performance and it's these type of applications that these web providers are running at scale. We've been talking about and I'll let Dave jump in I know we've got a bunch of questions but we've been talking on the Cube for the past year and now it's looking at Angle and Wikibon the notion of how software is driving a lot of the innovations with commodity hardware getting smaller faster cheaper and innovations like with the chipset level um, we're seeing integrated packages to purpose-built machines, but how fundamental is the software and the fabric side of what has to go on here? Because you got, you're dropping hardware. It's not hardware, software anymore, I mean, like the old days, hardware guy, software guy. What's changed in the software side of it as you manage essentially what looks like a hardware business, which it is? Yeah. But talk about the software Converged component. infrastructure. So first off, you, you nailed it, right? It's not just servers. We're selling converged infrastructure. And, you know, proline has been on that path for many years. That's what blades are, the start of a converged infrastructure, right? And this just takes it down to the next level. So first off, it's converged infrastructure. I'd say um, the interesting thing in this space, you talked about software, is a lot of the software that's being used for these front-end web applications is not um, is not what we're calling uh, compiled code. It's called it's runtime or interpreted code. And as a result, the code doesn't know what it's running on it doesn't understand the underlying platform as long as you have the lamp stack that supports it you know you can use any any type of code this code is a, is a more interpreted type type of, of code so really the software is very transportable and that's the magic about this we can provide new architectures and new solutions that dramatically reduce the overall power and we can do them in such a way that you know the application port is very very minimal now it doesn't address the enterprise customer it really addresses this, this specific market segment that we're targeting Help us, um, help, we'd like to handicap the magnitude of this announcement. You talked about four inflection points, the x86 itself, right. blades, the, the pods, and now you know, this low-energy server. So x86 itself, obviously, you know, was <clears throat> decade-long, multiple decade-long, huge, huge. Um, blades, big deal. Uh, but largely evolutionary. Same thing with with pods. How, how big is low uh, low energy servers? Is this x86 level of magnitude in your view? Um, yes, it is definitely x86 level of magnitude because it's a whole new architecture. We are reinventing for years and years and years. Everyone has been designing servers, and these servers go in a little metal case. You know, any different size, you pop them in a rack, you connect them together. But a server is a server. No one has looked at the problem and said, "How do I design a data center?" Come at it from the data center and lay, lay, lay and say, "How do I design a data center?" And how do I look at it from the front side and go backwards? And how do I do it power efficiently? No one's been done has done that before. And so fundamentally, this is this is a major Major shift. This is a quantum leap, and so yeah, this is as big as uh, as uh, x86. So can, can we peel the onion a little bit more on on HP's innovation here? You don't own the chipset anymore. You used to in the old days, and you've learned how to make money without owning the, the chipset and innovating. So where really are the the innovations here, and how sustainable are they? Um, so this is again, this is a series, right? So this is Moonshot is a multiple Moonshot is a multiple year, multiple program. So we have a lot of things that we're designing that we're developing. What you've seen is kind of the first stage, the booster rocket. To get can you the show satellite. us a little leg? Uh, <laughs> no, no. So we have a, we got to have secrets, right? We got to have to have cool stuff that we're looking at. So um, again, I want to. I, I, that's the first the, the first part. I want to under under you know kind of make sure that we don't underinvest it uh, under. Undervalue, right? But in this, it's going to take some time. But in this particular application, it's really pulling it together. It's doing all the federation, putting the switches together, putting the service servers together. Um, actually, the management fabric, right? How do you pull the management fabric together to be able to support an open stack? How do you do everything that's required? How do you support the software? How do you support customers? Um, so, yeah, and, and we've got some great plans, and I, I love. That's why we call it Moonshot. It's a multi-year project. And, and I'm the, excited about telling you about and each the ecosystem stage. too, though, right? I mean, the ecosystem, the ecosystem having a lead in the ecosystem is a sustainable advantage, I would think. I mean, if you're going to lead and people are going to jump on board, there's going to be more innovation there. Exactly. And it has to be, you know, this has to be provided by a customer or by a company that somebody trusts that they know is going to be there that's sure. going to be able to develop the solution, right? So everyone knows, get it from HP, you're going to get the complete solution, you're going to get the backing, you're going to get worldwide support around the world, you're going to get the ability to do everything that HP can go do. Um, so there's there's innovation in many, many ways. Um, and again, as, as you know, we're, we've teamed up very closely with Partha and HP Labs. <laughs> so we've got some tricks up our sleeves. So... Uh, 
Um, we're, so, we're excited about this. So this I, is, this I have, is number I have one one last yeah. question. Obviously, you know, you showed the gear and you unveiled it and uh, you know whipped it up the cover and you saw some nice hardware there. So for the hardware geeks out there who are buying gear out there, um, it's beautiful. It looks great. Just talk about some of the the highlights of the hardware and then two talk about the use cases they can use now for okay. this product. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> so first off. The hardware itself is cool because what we've done is designed a new tray that goes into our ProLine 6500. 6500 is a shipping is a shipping solution, the SL6500. We ship it in bulk now to our largest customers who buy it by the truckload, by the ton, by the pod. Um, and so as a result, everything is already in place. The power supplies, the fans, the cooling, the management infrastructure, you know, everything that's required is there already now. Um, and we know how to build those solutions. And so we've designed a new tray that goes into that. So as a result, we can take that up and go from, you know, production um we can go from um, you know development platform to production very very quickly. So that's a, a first uh, the first part. And I forgot the second part of your question. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, application yeah. use cases. Oh, application to use to cases. Buy right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick the tires and, and put it in production. I, I'd say um, front end web server. If you have a if you have a web server, you know you know anything that runs on a lamp stack for a Linux lamp stack will probably be portable. Anything that's large that doesn't require a lot of CPU cycles, right? This isn't a, you know, 200 watt, you, you know, X, x86 processor, right? This is Don't a need that. Don't processor. need to run that on an x86. Is essentially exactly. It's got to be something that yeah. where you're not CPU bound. And that that's things like Memcached, Cassandra, Hadoop, um, you know, a offline analytics, as we heard from Niall uh, today at the announcement event. Um, uh, video streaming, anything where you're not actually uncompressing or decompressing right. the, the video stream as it goes through, just, you're just serving it up. Anything where you're just serv serving up and doing things in parallel is going to scale very, very All quickly. the cool stuff. All the cool stuff. <laughs> all the stuff that's, that's why you're really, excited. All, all, all the stuff that you're running on your phone, right? All the back-end server database. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. It's just How much did you poach from HP Labs? I mean, obviously HP Labs. I've talked to Chandra Khan in the past. Yeah. He's been on this whole energy sustainability thing. He's going to be on, on the cube later. They have, a, they have a pretty healthy brain trust here. They do. Did you tap some of that we, we do I mean, actually we, and, and, and not only just tapped it for this announcement we've been tapping them for many years and they're part of future stuff I'm actually we're working very very close with HP labs on this exascale we're doing some really cool stuff in the exascale space we're actually very very you know cl close with them so yeah we have a very tight relationship with, with them I, I want to be there to you know go to market arm right so that when they got cool stuff hey come to me we'll <laughs> get it out we'll, we'll make some really cool products and you know provide value for our customers Thanks for coming inside the queue. Thank been you. Great. It's I been know great. you're super busy. Thanks yeah. for your time. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Thanks. Um, Thanks. Paul Thanks so the man Bye. of the hour and the keynote doing all the uh, had the fun part, Dave. He did the keynote and did the presentation, showed the gear. Um, it's pumped up. This is uh, yeah, he's this pumped is a big up. Day. I mean, you know, I mean, when you're a server guy, I mean, it's all about speed and feeds. But now you got a whole new game-changing architecture, software. So it's fantastic. Uh,